You there, Johnny? That's fine. I know. I know you got a head cold. Any news? What's there? Yeah. So we got the go ahead, which is great. Stu said, "Yeah, he, they want to do business with us." That's good. Any we, any, any but? <laughs> well, they're just not sure where you fit in. Like, you know, as my assistant or uh, <laughs> the photography. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think let's book a time. We. Yep, so I've just sent them a copy of the agreement. I'll copy you in. Um, they're going to review that. They want to actually sign it together when you come up. And they've, they've actually asked for Friday at 1 o'clock, if possible. This Friday? Yeah. Uh, I think that's okay. I mean, just hang on a sec. Calendar. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Friday. Possible. I've got to do a speech with Panos at a real estate gym and I was meant to have a lunch with Con and David, but I think I can push that to another day. Yeah. So if I can be finished with if I can be finished with Panos by about what's it take me to get there? An, An hour, hour and a half. Oh, I'd actually, yeah, two hours, Johnny. Like literally, yeah, because it's a little further. Oh, that should be fine. Let me just I'll speak to Tom, I'll just check out the run sheet for Friday and I'll just make sure he puts me on the first hour. Okay. That, should, that shouldn't be any problem. He's doing it at our, at our office and he asked me could I do a bit, but I'll just do 9.30 or 10.30 then I'll take off. So that'll be good. Um, so you sure that suits you? Lock, lock it in at 1 o'clock. Okay, great. And um, that'll be good. All right. And we'll talk before. That's great news, man. Awesome. Thanks for all your help, Johnny. I, I'm looking well, forward to it. And, we'll yeah. celebrate a little bit more when we actually get the, um, get the sale. signed documents. I'm, I'm always... Uh, Nervous until we get the signed contract. But oh, no problem. No problem. Well, I'll copy you in the email stuff now. So Can you let Adam Ross know as well? I'll ring Adam Ross as well. Good work. Thanks, Thanks Joe. Thanks for everything. Bye. Bye, mate. Bye. That's probably the best property I've ever been to and probably the, one of the best properties north of Sydney, um, owned by a very prominent Sydney family. And we've been pitching hard for the business. So... I'm going to ring Adam Ross as well, and go down. Oops, hit your head so much. Come on, guys. Mate, oh, Rosie. Yeah? I rang the wrong Adam. Oh, look at you guys, right? <laughs> Sorry, mate, I love you very much. How are you, mate? Good, Adam, yourself? Yeah, good, man. What's happening? Um, we just got the go-ahead on the um, Lakeside Lodge. Yahoo! Yes! <laughs> no, mate, thanks for all your help on this one. So let's smash it out of the park and make them very happy. Let's go. All right. Thanks, Ad. Oh, <laughs> See you. <Okay. Yoo. laughs> Bye, mate. <laughs> Bye. There you go. Yes, back to chest. You just want to play, don't you? Oh, and then you want to go to sleep under there. From biting to sleeping in 30 seconds. Hey Luke. Hey Matt, sorry, I was just in the shower. Oh, that's fine, no problem. No, that's all right. I um I thought I'd give you a call. Um, I just want to say thank you for that chat yesterday. Mm -hmm. I've had a hard think about it. Um, and I, I don't think it's I don't think it's me. I don't think I'm the one for your team. Yeah, no, I think that's a good choice. Yeah, well, sorry to get you to move down here. No, it's a, you know it's been a journey. There's a there's a lesson in everything, and um, in the future maybe I'll find out what this lesson is. But you know I I put in the work, I, um, obviously I just wasn't meant to be here, you know? Yeah, exactly. What do you think you'll do in the end? Um, I think I'll move back to Brizzy, mm -hmm. um, continue going there. Yeah. I think for me, it's just about having that flexibility and 
you know, making sure I'm feeling happy in what I'm doing, you know. Yeah, no, that's fine. All right, well, let's um, let's just, yeah, we'll just move forward now. Yeah. And then, yeah, stay in contact, and I hope everything works out for you in the future. Thank you, Matt. I'll, um, what I'll do as well is I'll drop everything off to the office this morning. Okay. Uh, and whatever you need from me, you let me know, and um, we can work it out. All right, mate. Thanks very much. Thanks, Matt. Thanks so much. See you, mate. Cheers. Bye. bye. For the best. He's a nice guy, but just not exactly what we need right now. <laughs> George? Good morning. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I've, Luke's going to move back to Brisbane, which I think is the right decision for him. Is he? Yes. Is there a better way to do it though? No. It's like your stupid moped that you got. You've used it once. What's the point of buying a moped? You don't even use it. And you were hell bent on getting this moped, and you're like, oh, it's takes too long on the moped. Well, we can use it. Let's sell that moped and give Matt the money back. I don't want the money back. No. Well, it's just your your, your ideas. Money. You're just lazy. I'm not lazy. You are lazy. You think letterbox dropping is below you. It's not. I think it's a waste of time. I do. Yeah, but it's not. Sense. Well, ugh. Oh, you two stop. Too early for this. Jordan, just agree you're lazy. We'll talk to Lee. Go polish your aviators. I'm going. Matt, Matt, no, don't go. What? <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Hello, Jackson. Hello. Hello. We need to show this house. Mm -hmm. This beautiful property. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> That's late. I've got to get a Someone like you come. They've got a car. Because they like to see me. It's weird if they're not allowed to get them in. I bought this place sight unseen. Hello, Hi, Hi, Chris. <laughs> Let me show you what's inside. You decide. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, got him. I'm built for farm life. I oh, know. Ash came dressed for, for um, gardening for that. Absolutely. Yeah. I reckon they said 10 as they got budget. budget. Yeah. yeah, but I think this, around this is their comfort. If it's perfect, fingers crossed we'll see. Oh. Of course I can. Thanks. Do you need a little snack too? Um, Let me know if you need to. Real question or are you just joking? I can get you food. Or delegate it to somebody else to get food. Actually, I think I might because I've got I've got to get a Dolce Vita. At two. At two. So you may as well stay around here. What time's this? 12, you one. Gym clothes. Nah, I'll go home. Sure. Um, I need to get gym clothes as well. I can do? fly back and grab can yours. You get my gym clothes? Yeah. So I might eat at the office yeah, if I get a tofu bowl. $90 tofu bowl. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, the keys... Do you, want, do you want some lunch? I'll get you some. No, I'm good, thank you. You don't want lunch? I'll eat air. Yeah. Um, the keys for the house are just in the kitchen. Okay. Bench, as soon as you walk in. Everything's open, everything's done. All right, well, can you get everyone lunch then? Okay. So today we are showing 31 Reeds Road, just been listed for sale. Jackson might put a few other shots up here right now. One of the best properties on the central coast. He's gonna say Wombrel, but it's probably even more than that. 15 acres, beautiful house here. Got a cute farmhouse. Goes all the way over that hill. And I'll show you the view as well. It wasn't meant to be a property video, but I thought may as well have a look while we're here. And this is the view. Pretty spectacular. Yeah. Matt. John. Can, can I walk somebody over to Del Delzy site in like an hour? Yeah, it's a block of land. What are you talking about? That's the mum over there. On the land? Need, yeah, but do you need a teller? No, it's a block of land. No, I know that. I just wasn't sure if you needed a teller, so she wasn't like, you know, talking about the land. She doesn't live there, Jordan. Oh, she doesn't? No. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. Jordan. You're such a pain. Why? Because if no one lives there. Bye. What do you want for lunch? Tell Ash is getting lunch. All right. Thank you.
Everyone says I get Botox, but we all alone. I don't. Probably should. Yeah, so this this was built uh, 30 years ago, this house. Very friendly. In the picture. No. He's gonna bite me. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that go? Yeah. Not the one for them. No. I've seen another one they sort of like, so we'll see. <laughs> Um, I want to connect with that designer, um, the one Virginia? that... Virginia? Yeah. Because yeah. what, what I also want to do is rename the podcast Matt, the podcast. Yep. Rather than 31 Minutes. And I just wanted a logo, like a Matt logo, M-A-T. M-A-T. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so what I can put on the podcasting. About, what do you think about, like, colours-wise? Are you sticking to the same team? I like blue, black and blue, so black background, blue thing. Okay. Yeah. So, do you want to have a conversation with her or do you want me to try and call her when we're next together? Well, maybe I can have a conversation with her if you can just ask her if I can give her a buzz and if she's too busy. Of or, course. Are we allowed to use her? Like, who, I don't know who she is. Thank you very much. That's okay, bye. Bye. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I was wondering if you could have a look around to see if people fit out the back of Land Cruisers. I was thinking about this when I was on the lounge last night. Yeah, for dogs. And so like, I want it like its own cooling system. The windows sort of, like um, the dog trainer has windows that open on the sides, like they pull out. Yep. Up. And then, you know, obviously caged. So it's, so she can be in there and just be comfortable and cool and yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe with me, and we have a little look around. Thanks very much. Calling Tommy Nutrition Home. Ooh, ooh, it's the moment. T man. Hey, buddy, I'll leave you up this way, buddy. Hello, hello. Thank you. Same to you. I, I, I think you know. Since I've been rebuilding myself with all yeah. the gut health plan and you know your your things and the pods and all that. Um, yeah. I think my eyesight's getting better. Yeah, hundred percent. Like my, I don't even need to wear glasses as much. I still do, but it's like, mm. yeah, before I had to wear them driving, I had to do all, it was getting worse and worse. And now I, yeah, I can read much better. I can see much better. Why is that? Oh, yeah, but did you know, if, if, you, if you look at the older people when, like, in a, like 20s, 30s, 40s and 50s, nobody wears glasses. Even the older people, they read newspaper, they do a lot of stuff. The reason that we get our eyesight goes bad, besides obviously overusing computer stuff there now, but it's lack of nutrients. So when you don't get enough blood circulation, the blood will carry all the nutrients into every single arteries and blood vessels and, and veins, right? Mm. The food gets carried and dumped in. It's like pipes. The food gets carried and dumped in into those areas. We're in the area like eyes or even hearing sometimes they don't get enough nutrient you start losing them because they get inflamed mm. there's no nutrient it's like plants right you don't you don't water the dye off there's no difference so when you start doing the antioxidants the greens the veggies the breathing the pots all the stuff you actually um you feeding the blood not the not the actual organs if the blood is happy the blood carries and shares all the good news all the good stuff yeah, it's so, so good. So easy. I'm mean, happy that they've been on glasses for like years. And I don't say nothing because I want to freak them out and the whole bullshit, you know. And then six months goes by, shit, I don't, I don't have my glasses, but I don't really need it anymore. No, I told you. I didn't tell them because I, I just, you just know because if you look at what they eat, there's nothing in there to protect the eyes. There's no antioxidant. There's no nothing colored. There's no nothing bright. Mm. All the bright things you eat, all the berries, all the, you know, you know, all your heavy stuff that you eat, they all have heavy, heavy antioxidants that the eyes need. And also, you're going to be, as I said, is, I know it's not easy, but you need to be outdoor a little bit, and you need to, the eyes is like no different than bicep triceps. They need exercise. 
the closer you look, the lazier they get. The farther you look, the stronger they get. Mm. So if you ask, oh, look, at, look as far as you can look, and they look over, so keep your head straight, look over up, over down, over left, over to right, man, it's like getting pumping like... Matt. George, what's happening with the bar's just not responding. That's so weird. Yeah. I, my, my, I said to I spoke to the client, I said, the lady's ignoring everybody. Like it's it's like fractured the relationship with my clients a little bit. I said, I'm gonna relentlessly work on this thing as if it's still on the market. She said she was going to put it into a cooling off period two Saturdays ago. Then it dragged on for a whole week. And dragged on for a whole other week. Yeah. Like, yeah, but uh, the learning lesson out of this is you've got to be over everything, anything to do with your listings. Yeah. You, you just have to. Yeah. Um, okay. I need to talk about the other things as well. Do you, can you talk? Yeah. <laughs> goes one eight five, the buyer's at one eight, he might pay a little bit more. I said to him, I said, look, now's the time, like we need to work a deal out here today. Time will kill the deal if we leave it too long. Uh, he's at one point eight, same terms. You're at one point eight five, it might be a little bit more there. But I need direction. He said, Well let's see how you go. It's only early days and we got the open house tomorrow and we can see what happens next week. I said, Not a chance. Not a chance I'm allowing you to do that. Like I sat with owners today, I can tell you, I listed them all. I said, the offer 1.37 this time, four months later sells 1.35. 47, first two weeks, offer 1.8. I'm going there to meet a lady to do a deal today, 1.725. Uh, somebody interested around 2.7. Now we just met with them and the price is coming on from 2.4. I said, I will not allow you to do this. Like if selling is what we need to do, we've got to work with this person today. Get the best and lock it down. I'm telling you, it'll be like the house across the road. Four months time, we'll have moved away and you'll accept one seven. So, okay, okay, okay. But, like, they need to be nicely spoken to like that a bit, Matt. Like, yeah. because... But that's what you got to do anyway. you got to help people understand when it's... They, they don't know. They just think there's 50 buyers out there. But they just need to understand, you know, when you feel it's the right level. Yeah. No earlier. So should I try and get him to one point eight two five? Well, what was his response like at one point eight five? I'd probably just wait. And I'd probably just wait and see what he does first. Who? The buyer. Yeah, his offer's one point eight. Yeah, but one point seven five. Yeah, but he might move a little bit more. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, so I need to move him first, right? The buyer. Yeah. I just don't know if I want to use that card yet without them, be, like. I mean, I just wait That's to what, uh, I just wait yeah. to hear from the buyer first and just see what he well, wants he, to do. He's, he's waiting to hear from me. But he offered one eight. No. You said to them on the phone when I walked past in the office that one point eight five is what they'll ex accept. So what's happening there? Uh, owners are at one point eight five. Buyers at one eight. I just prepared him for a, another offer, but we'll just see. I'm just going to let it breathe, as you say. I'll let it breathe for a little bit. Mm -hmm. we'll go back. All right. Yeah. And how did he sound from there? So he was at 1.75. I called him. I said, I told you this when we first inspected, um, that the account offers 1.85. No, he goes, I'll pay no. On the phone call, how did he sound after you said you can take a deposit at 185? He said, I'm not paying 185. I'd probably just go back and say the owners are at 185. Like... That's where they're at. You need to get closer to the target for me to give you any hand, any chance of securing the house. I'd probably just be yeah, a bit okay. firmer there at the moment. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. 3.1 with... I haven't spoken to him yet. But I'm going to. I don't know how to pitch it to him. I'd probably say let's go back at 3.2. Like I'd say to him, let's go back at 3.2. 
33 isn't in the market but we're already over the price guide so let's go back at 32 and see if I can squeeze some more out of this okay. mm. that's what I would do yeah I can and just say to him I, I always said to you I will I'll let you know when I think I will get the absolute best buyer at the best level and this is it let's squeeze this one as hard as we can yeah well, I did, what, like it, you might go oh well, let's go to auction I, I would say to him we'd, we'd be going to auction the fun but that's, that's exactly right now. yeah just and just say you left a house this morning where they've been there for three months have had no offers yeah so let's this is the buyer let's see where we go but you, you need to align your thoughts yeah. At 3.2 and see if we can get close to that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. 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 So we are going to list probably the Central Coast's best property. All of the Central Coast? I think so. It's spectacular. I've never seen anything like it. Just making yeah. sure you're at the right gate. The white gate? The right gate. Yeah, but is it a white gate? Yeah, it's, it's one a bit here. further up the road. Oh, he's just behind you. Are you in a Range Rover? Yeah. Okay, so I am in the right place. Yeah. And who are the other two cars behind us? Trev and Nash. Trev and Nash. Okay. All right, we'll follow you in. All right. Bye.